So take a look in front of you. There's just <laughs> a large pile of things. Um, that is my entire sealed collection of Pokemon cards. Uh, obviously, is this all my Pokemon cards? No, this is everything that I have sealed. Um, laid out in front of you. And we're going to go through it all painstakingly, one by one as I pack it away. Never to be seen again. Um, well, I mean, it's going to be seen again, but uh, it's not going to be here anymore um, in my home. So uh, we'll kind of go through it, kind of go through what some of the current values are. Um, I'm not pulling up um, a website. I just generally know what the values are. Um, some of them will be best guesses and we'll kind of have a running total. Um, and you'll just kind of get to see what my collection is as well. Um, and then they're going to storage. So isn't that fun for them? Uh, so yeah, let's get started over here, I guess, on the right side. <clears throat> so uh, I'm going to move these out of the way. Um, I just didn't know what to do with them. Those are some blister packs. We'll, we'll go through them. So to get started, we do have the Walmart exclusive I guess it's Walmart from Black Friday of this year. Uh, Crown Zenith Pikachu VMAX Premium Collection. Um, really the difference on this one is it has two extra packs and the pin versus the normal one that came out when Crown Zenith came out. So we'll stick that in there. Uh, we'll put this one aside because I don't know if this is the same size. We then have the Target, ex uh, not Target, uh, Amazon exclusive RCS V-Star Collection. Um, so this came out in 2022 or early 2023. I don't remember anymore, uh, but it was exclusive to, uh, Target, um, uh, Amazon. Sorry. We're, we're really horrible with this. Um, I want to say end of 2022, to be honest. Um, so it does have evolving skies, one of them in there, I believe, or two, um, several packs. It was a little overpriced for what it was, to be honest, but... Opened one, kept one sealed. We have the the very legendary GameStop exclusive Pikachu and Zekrom box. Um, I bought two of them. Um, one is sealed here. This one actually does have more Evolving Skies packs in it than the, the, the one I opened in. Um, another video uh, that had the back-to-back -back Leafeon VMAX uh, alt arts in. Uh, the, the last two packs I opened. Um, then we have the Walmart exclusive. Uh, Reshram and Charizard GX box, uh, which has the same selection of packs. This one, a little beat up, but I had to buy it from a, uh, a seller on eBay to get it. We have the very underwhelming Morpeko V Union box. Uh, one of the two Morpeko V Unions they made because they said, give the people what they want. And, uh, yep, we got the Greninja Union box sealed here. We have um, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain, Vivid Voltage, Sword and Shield base in there. Add that to the fun. We have Celebrations, uh, the special collection. So this is the, oops, just the regular one with the Pikachu V Union. Um, four packs of Celebration should be a battle style. Should be a Vivid Voltage, I believe, or a Darkness Ablaze. My bad, yep. I was like something... Kind of underwhelming, but most of these are underwhelming. And then we have the uh, Radiant Eevee Premium Collection from Pokemon Go. So eight packs, the promo and the playmat and the pin. So definitely a cool one there. We opened up one up on the channel, but another one. Why do I have so many of these? Um, Mewtwo V Union. This was the hardest one to find by far. Um, and there was almost like no way to buy this without getting it uh, above MSRP, um, but did finally find one. Um, two Fusion Strikes, Evolving Skies, Chilling Rain. Um, so I did not open one on the channel at any point or just for my, even off the channel. Um, this is the only one I've ever bought. Then we have probably my <coughs> three favorites uh, in my whole collection, I'd say of Sealed. Uh, we have the... Jolteon VMAX Premium Collection box, so it does have that, the really nice uh, full art, um, really alt art, 
uh, promo cards in it. Um, so in Japanese, these in, were in EV Heroes as um, alt arts in both the VMAX and the regular Vs. Uh, we did not get them in Evolving Skies like that. Um, nice pack selections in here from the Sword and Shield era too. You do get the pin. You get a really cool EV Lucian um, coin as well. Really, really nice um, premium collection. They were so hard to find, uh, you know, and I really didn't have any money when they came out either. Uh, and uh, yeah, I spent kind of like the money I needed for eating food on them instead of eating food. So um, this one here, I mean, look at the Flareon, uh, the, the VMAX and the V, I mean, so nice, so nice. Um, so really glad I never opened these up. It was so hard not to, but um, I just told myself that it would be a better investment. And these definitely are um, worth a heck of a lot more sealed. And then we have the Vaporeon and Vaporeon VMAX on the uh, Vaporeon VMAX Premium Collection. And uh, just to go through some values. So right now the... Um, about 25, say about 50, uh, about 50 there, 50, 20, uh, 30, 25, 40, 40, 80, 80, 80 on those. So, uh, so far about a uh, nice little grouping of products there. We do have a, another one here, a, this is a Target exclusive, um, so there's promos in here that are not promos, but um, squishies that are, the Mythical Squishy Premium Collection, um, so that one, interesting, uh, got one for my nephew for Christmas that year, um, 2022 I believe, and uh, yeah. Then we have these guys. Um, so this might round out this container. You have the Leafeon V-Star um, Special Collection. So you got Leafeon V, Leafeon V-Star, and uh, Glaceon V-Star Special Collection as well. These uh, really haven't changed a whole lot in value. Um, they were a little overpriced at the time when they came out in the first place, based on the amount of packs that are in there and everything. Um, something that might fit in here pretty well. We have this year's uh, Trick or Last Halloween's 2023 uh, Trick or Trade Booster Bundle. This is 120 pack. Uh, so this was a Costco item here. This looks like it would fit here pretty well, and it does. Um, let's go back around. And uh, we should be able to throw some of these other items on top. So uh, we have some Chilling Rain single pack blisters with promo and coin with Fampy. More Peko. We have several with more Peko. Uh, we do have these with the um, Galissapod and Wimpod. And these are not even promos with Battle Styles. Um, more, more Peko, two more, and he came out of there. Charmander actually was quite a valuable one. That one um, still is, actually. Probably the most expensive one that you can find. Like, and I, you know, I, I say that lightly, it's like five bucks. Um, so it's back to five, six bucks, back to MSRP. Um, While well, the Manfi, more Peko ones are... You know, they were hard to find at the time, so they were good. And now they're back to, to garbage again. Um, then we do have some three-pack blisters of uh, Paradox Rift. All three of these are with Satitan as the um, as the promo. So nothing too fancy there. Those are about 10 bucks a piece. Um, we do have an oldie here. We have a Vivid Voltage uh, with Sobble. And... You see, this pack is really shifted in there, but um, Sobble crying, but his uh, friends having a great time. And uh, we have a couple Sun and Moon base uh, ones here. 
And uh, you can see I clearly got from eBay. Uh, I believe both of them are Litton. So we'll double check. Yep, both of them are Litton. So I kept them in this plastic there. It them really nice. A little nicer than they would have been. And then uh, from 2022, the original booster bundle, uh, we have two of the 40 packs. I don't know what the heck I'm saving these for, but um, they're not really worth anything. I'm sure. And then we have um, Vivid Voltage theme deck. We have Dreadnought. No one wants that. And a Sword and Shield base uh, theme deck with Rillaboom. No one wants that. So I will keep that until all the day I die, I'm sure. We have a uh, V-Battle uh, deck with Rayquaza versus uh, Neu Neuvern. So I uh, don't think that's going to fit in here, though. It, it might. All right, I think we're done with that box. Move on to the next one here. Um, so we'll move on to these ETBs. So I have this one up here. This is a full set of um, Crown Zenith tins. So it's the five pack tins with the glaring birds on it. So it is sealed already. It does not need to be re-encapsulated unless I have room in a thingy. Um, so we have a Celebrations ETB. This one goes for about 50 bucks now. So what did MSRP for, you ask? About 40. Um, 50, 60 bucks or so, um, but I expect them to go up. There, there seems to be still a uh, large quantity of these out there, um, but it does go up uh, every year. Uh, these came out in what, 2021 uh, for the 25th anniversary. So these do, do come with 10 of the um, Celebrations four card packs, five additional packs, the Greninja uh, Star um, promo card and a bunch of other things. Really love this set. Um, so it's definitely a cool one to have. Um, we have a Vivid Voltage with the Chonka Chew on the front. That one's about 40 bucks. Crown Zenith. Uh, right now, about 40 bucks. So actually down. Um, Sword and Shield Base with Zamazenta. Uh, right now, about... You'll see it for about 40. Um, maybe a little less. Uh, Darkness Ablaze. I got this for about 25 bucks. It is worth maybe about 35 right now. 30. Um, so I'm up on it, but it's not it's not a high value item. Uh, we have the other Sword and Shield base. This sorry, that, that one was Ashi and this one's Amazenta. Um, same thing. Um, I'm still waiting for that to be worth something uh, more than really what it's worth. But it, the packs inside are just not very good. Uh, another celebrations. Um, another celebrations. How many of these did I buy? Another Darkness Ablaze. Another Crown Zenith. Okay. Put that aside. We do have a Paldean Fates. So the newest installment. MSRP is for 50. It is worth 45 right now. So we are down. Uh, Pokemon Go. They were selling this for what? Uh, 40. I got this also for about 25. It is worth about right now 30 something. Um, 151 MSRP is for 50. Um, I'd say right now our market price is about 44. But one of my favorite sets Lost Origin MSRP 40. Market price about 33. So we have the Pokemon Center exclusive. Um, Elite Trainer Box for Pokemon um, Celebrations. This one does have a um, additional packs, three additional uh, four-card packs, the one additional regular pack in it. Um, so it is this one right now is a hundred bucks. And uh, I had I had bought one when it came out, and I I bought one. Um, I bought this on the secondary market a few months ago. We have this one here um, from the, the uh, X and Y era. It's the uh, 
Keldeo and the Rayquaza uh, Battle Arena decks. Not worth a whole lot. We have uh, the, I believe this is the 2020 Trainer's Toolkit sealed. Uh, I think it was MSRP 30 bucks. It's probably worth less than that now. Um, we have a sealed Darkness Ablaze um, booster box. I bought it for 140. It's never been worth that much since I, I received it in the mail. We have a sealed uh, Vaporeon V um, tin. Um, Twenty bucks. Another new item: um, the Iron Treads EX uh, tin from Paldean Fates. So it just came out. I'd still say it's about worth MSRP, about twenty-five bucks. Great Tusk EX, again, about twenty-five bucks. MSRP is twenty-eight on those, but you know, it's it's not that. Um, hmm. I'm not going to try anything else in these. Get on to the last one. All right. We have a, another Celebrations product here. The um, Dragapult Prime. Um, and it's the binder collection. So it does come with the Dragapult Prime promo card. does come with a couple Celebrations packs and a Vivid Voltage pack for whatever reason. Um, it's kind of one of the worst ones unless you just want the binder. Um, it does come with an oversized Dragapult Prime as well, and a coin, um, 20 bucks, 25 bucks maybe. Um, but things like this will continue to age well, I imagine. Um, the Zacian one, the Deluxe Pin Collection, so this one does come with the Zacian Level X, and the Pikachu, the Surfing Pikachu Pin, four of the uh, lovely um, Celebrations packs, Chilling Rain pack, and of course... A vivid voltage um, pack as well. This one uh, right now is a little closer to thirty bucks. I imagine this one will age definitely a little better because of the the promo and the pin. Um, this one has not aged quite as well, but there's not really a whole lot going on in here. The Dark Sylveon collection. Um, so this actually is the box that I bought when the day celebrations came out. Um, I waited in line and wasn't even sure what came out that day and uh, supposedly comes with the four Celebrations packs and two additional packs. I don't even know where they are. Oh, they're, they're all just like folded in on, a, on each other in here. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, like 25 bucks. This one, you'd think, because it's Charizard, should be a little bit better. Um, again, four packs, two promos, two additional packs. Uh, but no, 25 bucks, 30 bucks tops. Uh, this one has done very well, um, aged very well in its short amount of time. The Arceus V figure collection. So the figure is very cool. The promo is very cool. Comes with four packs, um, two brilliant stars, which are, have aged well, uh, chilling rain, eh. And it has a cosmic eclipse from sun and moon, which, um, goes for almost 10 bucks on its own. Um, so this is about 40 bucks, um. On its own, and uh, thankfully we have two of those, so. We have this monstrosity here. So this is a Sam's Club exclusive item. Um, it is gigantic. It is the Lucario V and Tyranitar V Heavy Hitters Premium Collection. It comes with 14 booster packs. So it does have Fusion Strike, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Evolving Skies, Lord, um, and then these cards as well, coins, um, it is gigantic, it takes up so much space, um, but it does fit nicely in here, so, um, I think it's still worth about 40 bucks, um, we got this Eternatus VMAX, um, premium collection, so it does come with six packs that are kind of garbage, so, two Vivid Voltage, I believe, uh, no, maybe one, so you got two battle styles, Darkness Ablaze, two of those, a Rebel Clash and a Sword and Shield. That's awful. A pin, the oversized. Yeah, uh, I'd say 30 bucks. Okay, we got the Palkia V-Star. 
um, six packs, the oversized card, the big pin, everything like that. Um, so two Astral, two Lost, Origin, two Fusion Strike, 30 bucks. We have the other more Peco V Union uh, collection box. So this comes with a play mat, the cards, the yeah five five Crown Zenith packs. It's all right. Um, I'd say like twenty five to thirty bucks. It's about fair. Yeah, that's a tough fit. Okay, um, we have the Cleavor V Star box. Um, Six packs, Brilliant Stars, Astral Radiance, Fusion Strike, uh, 25 bucks. And the, and one more of those Pikachu ones, 25 bucks. So that's everything. So let me know what you think of this collection. Um, but that's where all my money goes. Or went to. So. Thanks, guys.